Hi everybody, it's Kenyatta. Um, today is April 17th. Um, my surgery for my right armpit axillary for hydronitis is tomorrow. I'll be there at 5 o'clock in the morning. Um, this is my second surgery I had for hydronitis. Um, if anybody didn't know, I had a paniculectomy done because I had hydronitis. I have hydronitis in areas of my body. So, uh, today, you know, I am now four and a half months, almost four and a half months post paniculectomy. Um, I have, if you've been following me, I gained 22 pounds. I don't know if it was stress or they said they don't know what it was. I thought it was aroma. They said no. Went to my doctor's appointment on Monday um, to do a pre-op and sign another consent with my first surgeon. Um, Dr. Chander Walker and he said that it's not seroma fluid because it builds in pockets and not just all the way around and they don't know why I'm swelling but anyways so that's why you see me with um, bands on and I'm also doing this for like a before and after because he said he's going to take this part and rotate it around so they said I'll see a scar or something like that uh, but I ain't worried about no scar at all, you know, I heal all right, you know, so I have one area where she took the thing out too soon and I opened up, but um, that's it, but uh, these bands I have on, I've been waiting on waist trainers and different things, I've been buying them, waiting, and um, my niece came over Shout out to Jasmine. Yay! And she has some thigh things on. See them? Had these around her clothes. And I was like, what? Where do you get those at? She said good old-fashioned Walmart. So I went to Walmart. And they have a, a set. Two arms and two thighs for $10. This was $10. This was like $5. And I have a second one on. Because... My torso is a little longer, so I needed two. I should have got two of these, but I started off with this one and tried to make it all match. And this didn't cover nothing. So I had to go back and get a second one. And it's 10 inches down versus this one's eight. Yeah, eight inches. And this one's 10 inches for people with larger torsos. So, uh, all of this was not even getting touched. None of this. Um, so that's why I was wearing two of them. One. So all of this right here, all of this, nothing was getting touched until I had put this other one on here. So anybody that's on a budget like me, go to Walmart now. I will tell you, they do work. But the one thing is, they break down real fast. I had this one not even a week in. Me trying to make it as tight as possible, different things like that, I didn't tore through it. But I'm going to keep using it until it falls completely apart. But what I have learned is you do want it tight and up against your skin and different things like that. But no matter if you have it on or not, it's going to make you sweat. But of course, the more tighter, the better it is up against the skin contact. I've worn it different ways, uh, on top of my clothes, um, straight and straight onto the body without no clothes, like this. And I found that on top of the clothes, um, you get wet fast. Like you can actually feel the the wetness because it fills up on your shirt everywhere else, and because the water just fills absorbs in the shirt, which could be a good thing because. Um, it allows you to keep continuously sweating versus sweating in the area, um, holding the moisture in, or um, it could be a bad thing. And I say that only because depending on where you are at, I wear it to work and I don't want my clothes filling up with sweat. So I wear it up against my skin and I only sweat in the areas where the sweat band is. But then when I come home, 
I take it off and I put it on top of my clothes because I'm at home and I don't care. So when I do my house chores around the house, different things like that, when I first come home cooking, I'll switch it up and put it on top of my uh, on top of my um, garments. But my thigh ones, I wear on I wear a pair of leggings all by being winter. Um, I still well, it's April, but you know in Ohio we still got snow, so it's going up against my other pair of pants here. Um, so, but that's what I'm wearing for now, and uh, they do work just like the ones on the TV, you know, all those different ones, you know, they see. So, I paid a total of 20 five dollars plus tax for everything I have on right now and you know of course one piece would do and you wear the one piece but it don't get your arms or your thighs so I think but because it got my arms and my thighs it's not getting my upper back so I guess it you know all of this area is every so I guess you know it's a flip of the coin you either pay twenty thirty dollars for a vest or something or however case you know they have them on wish for like 12 bucks and then you wait 20 years to get it because I still haven't received anything I ordered so that's something um, about that well no I'm lying I received some things but uh, it seemed like the things I ordered for everybody else came and they wet my size or I'd have kept it but the things that I ordered for other people came and the things for myself didn't come so, uh, yeah, so my daughter's things came, my friend Tanya's stuff came, uh, my friend, I got her some stuff for her nails, right, because she's a nail tech, it came, but nothing that I wanted, I ordered me two, uh, waist trainers and a, a butt lifter, um, a new one, um, but none of that came yet, so I've been complaining and mad. But anyways, um, but yeah, so $25 plus tax so far at Walmart, and like I said, uh, I don't know as far as results, but I do know it makes you sweat. Um, so it's supposed to take off inches. You have to do your part in exercising and all that other stuff, yeah, you know, in order for it to work. But um, that's that. And um, the second part that I started off with, well, the first part I started off with is that I am having my surgery tomorrow and uh, I didn't do as many videos I did for my appendicolectomy because I kind of figured like oh you know what I'm saying I guess the anxiety of that was gone it started to dwindle you know what I'm saying I wasn't you know counting down as much and then to this surgery you know I was like oh okay you know when I get to a video I'll do it but um, as soon as my anxiety hits I felt more comfortable um, doing the video um, it really helps me calm down um, but uh, you think because you've been through it one time that you know it's the same but it's not um, all those rushing feelings like if it's the first surgery ever again comes over you again and that's the scary part you know so uh, but I thank y'all for listening um, and thank you for subscribing and uh, I don't know, but you know, maybe I'll do another. Well, I am going to do another video because I have to be there at five o'clock in the morning, so I'll be up around three thirty, uh, four ish. Um, the good thing is the surgical center is literally seven minutes away from my house. Yay! So I don't have to. You know what I'm saying? It's not a big commute, a long commute. I'm sorry to where I need to go. Um, to this hospital so hopefully these are some before and after pictures everything that's going on I don't know what I can be this way that way so you can see um, let's take this off so you can see my arm okay there we go I'll turn this up here before right armpit uh, shadow 
right armpit. All right, um, so we'll see. Um, that's that. Um, I cannot put these on by myself. I mean, it goes on, but not really, so. I don't know, but all right. All right, so that's how you got to do it. It's a struggle a little bit, but okay. I'll see y'all soon. All right, thanks for subscribing. Bye.